That's how you're going to start the show? Hi, I'm Tom. Please. Don't pay attention to the bald guy. I'm the new MC. Hello, my name is Bick. I'm the unofficial mascot of the BIICC, and I would like to welcome you to the awesome 2011 BIICC TSG Epic Springtown Hall Gala Meeting Expo Derby Festival Live. <laughs> Hmm, we could start the show with a big music number, like they do at the Oscars. Or, I could start the show by talking about current events. Let's see. I could talk about the bombs over Libya. Oh dear, how dreadful. Or I could talk about the bombings in Afghanistan. Bloody hell! Or I could talk about all the bombs in Iraq. What kind of world is this? I need some good news to talk about. How about this? Lots of my friends have been very jolly lately because their country won a world championship. The Republic of India won the ICC Cricket World Cup. This is a glorious accomplishment to Indians everywhere. Cricket is a wonderful game, much like Major League Baseball, except without all the steroids. How can I explain cricket to Americans? Instead of a pitcher, there's a bowler who plays on a pitch but who does not throw at bowling pins. When a batsman hits the ball, he runs to first base while carrying his bat. And the batsman is guarding a wicket, but not Wicket the Ewok from Star Wars. But seriously, cricket is a lot like baseball, and Indians are a lot like Americans. Sure, I know that there are some differences, but they are few. India has a younger, more crowded population. The US has more than three times as much land, but India has almost four times as many people. The U.S. has an urban and more in-depth society. But the true beauty of Indo-American relations is in their many similarities. Some are listed here, but what these facts and figures don't show is how alike the people really are. The multi-ethnic people of each country Enjoy helping each other. Consider education the key to success. Love movies from Hollywood and Bollywood. And enjoy many of the same foods, like ice cream and frozen yogurt. India and America. The whole is greater than the sum of its parts. And finally... Let's close out this opening with the immortal words of Ed McMahon. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's... Funny!